Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing something a little bit different. Um, I am going for a movie later on and also for dinner. So I thought I would just get ready. I'll do like a quick get ready with me. We'll chat. I'll get ready. I'll tell you kind of what products I use. Um, I do have a lot of acne scars. So I want to talk about like kind of what products I use to hide my acne scars. And um, just like how I do my kind of go-to everyday makeup. It's not every day, it's a little bit more glam than every day, but I just thought I'd do that with you guys, share that with you guys, and yeah, we'll just have a good time. So let's go. I'm not entirely sure how long this video is gonna be, but we're just gonna start and then hope for the best. I got these two samples uh, the other day because I ordered some things. So I'm just gonna use those for hydration. Moisturizing cream gel, that's what I'm gonna use. I already have my I've already put on my everyday moisturizer that I use, which is um, CeraVe. And I'm just using this cream. It's really scented. I don't really like scented skincare just because, as you can see, my skin is really sensitive, very acne prone. And so I don't like putting scent on my face. But this is a sample. And you know what, whatever. The first thing I wanna do is I just wanna create a little base for my acne scars, right? Before I put my foundation on. Now I've been really loving this NYX um, Bear With Me concealer for everyday use. I think it's really nice, it's very dewy. So I'm gonna use that. I can also use NARS. Um, again, another concealer that I absolutely love. I'm gonna use NARS. So what I do is I just do that. I'm not gonna use a primer um because I feel like it kind of dries out my skin and I have been really loving the way my skin's been behaving without a primer. Um so I'm not gonna use a primer. But what I'm gonna do is just gonna pat that on. Okay. That that's it. It is about to finish, so you can see me struggling with my concealer. I'm just gonna let that sit for a bit. Let it do its thing. I'm not gonna blend it out until then. I'm just gonna fix my eyebrows a little bit. Since I moved to Germany, I've been doing my eyebrows myself because funnily enough, for some reason, they don't have people here who can like pluck your eyebrows. Like they do it either with tweezers, but no one does it like with the dhaga, which is really weird. I don't know why. Maybe it's because I'm in a like smaller town. I don't know. But no one seems to be doing it. So I just have to do it myself. And then this is what I end up with. Just pat that in with my fingers. Okay, we're gonna put foundation on top of this anyway, so. It's fine. My Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. I've had this for almost a year now. I got it for my wedding, like when I was getting married. I got it around that time and I have fallen in love with it. It's so good. It looks really, really nice. It's very lightweight. It just has this really beautiful finish and I really love it. I do tend to put it on with a brush but today I'm gonna try putting it on with my beauty blender um I was in TK Maxx the other day and I found this like the actual beauty blender the pink one so I found this um on sale along with the cleaning like the cleaning liquid that you get it's not easy talking and <laughs> doing your makeup because I can't focus so that's that. Also, this is the actual like beauty blender, the original. And honestly, I know there's really good ones in the market because I've myself been using like you know other ones. I don't I don't use this one, but this is the second beauty blender I bought in my entire life, the actual like original one, and it is really good. It is really good. So, in case you were wondering if you should be buying a beauty blender or not, now you know that did a good job at like hiding my acne scars um i see a little bit here so i'm just gonna add a little bit more product just to hide that i also feel like 
it's very hard for me to kind of hide my hyperpigmentation around my mouth that is something i struggle with quite a lot as well um but that looks good enough to me now i'm gonna use a concealer i'm gonna use the same one i'm gonna use nars um it's about to finish but these are expensive so you gotta do what you gotta do you know And I've also noticed that this concealer blends in really nicely on top of this foundation. I don't know what it is, but the combination is just beautiful. So I'm gonna put a bit here. Now I'm gonna put blush. I've noticed that the Rare Beauty blush, this one, it's in shade Love. It goes on nicer before I put any powder on my face and I don't really know why that is, but I like to put it on before I put any powder to set my face. So I'm just gonna use a brush to blend that out. I'm gonna set my under eyes a little bit with powder. I'm gonna use a damp beauty blender. This is one of those generic ones. Um, tap off the excess on my hand and then just go in. I'm gonna use a little bit of the Fenty Beauty bronzer um, to warm up my face a little bit. my Huda Beauty nude palette. I keep it very simple. Also these colors are really pigmented so I don't really need to conceal or do anything to my eyelids before I put them on. You could if you wanted to. I just feel like I don't need to so I don't. Okay. Next. Um, epic ink liner I've been using it for ages and I just I don't want to change it just because it's really nice as it is okay here we go I think that looks nice. Also, I don't know if this happens to someone else, but I can never use these things properly. I always feel like I'm getting my lower lashes in as well. Sky High Mascara. It's finished. It's literally finished, but we move. Okay, now we're gonna do inner eye because um, I'm going to the cinema so don't want to do like a um, shimmer all over my eyelid. I'm gonna use this like tiny brush that I have. Um, 
Let me see. I think I'm gonna go with pink. Because I love pink. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of that on and. keep that zoomed in for you guys just so you can know what's going on so I do think I have kind of hooded eyes so basically like this entire area this goes away when I look up so I have to focus a lot on like on like upper eyelid and also I really enjoy putting stuff on my inner eyelid just because you can actually see it there and like in in here where you can't really see much unless I look down um, so we're gonna do that. I think that's good enough. I am gonna put this. This is, um, Rare Beauty Illuminator, Liquid Illuminizer, whatever, in shade Flaunt. I don't find them quite easy to work with. I think that they can be quite hard to work with, but... I'll kind of show you what I do and then, yeah. So I just use my fingers. I kind of just do that. I don't know. There's probably like other ways of using this, better ways, but I just feel like this works for me. I can't use it any other way. I don't think it blends in nicely with the Beauty Blender. I have a pimple right here, which is why it's much darker. I don't know why that is. I think the product gets stuck to this area because it's a bit dry. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. But that's why it's a little bit darker over here. I'm going to leave it be just because the pimple is a bit sore. So I'm going to leave that alone. But now I'm going to do my lips. Okay. So I'm going to line them first with the NYX eyeliner in shade Ever. I'm going to use this um, lipstick by MAC. This is what it looks like. The final look. I'm not going to use setting spray or anything you could if you wanted to i don't have any so i'm not gonna but that's it i'm gonna change now and then go out but this is what it looks like you can see some like acne scars peeking through but most of it is gone um I'm gonna go now thank you so much for watching thank you so i'm home now it's wait let me show you the time it's 11 33 pm and this is what the makeup looks like it's still that's where my nose ring was supposed to be but this is what it looks like it's still quite good And now I'm going to take it off. But like I was saying, I love this foundation because it just looks stunning all day long. So there you have it.